big congratulations to you and your team, your veterans who are also sitting here. Without, without their support, I don't think very many things can be achieved. Earlier you said that we have a semiconductor or the bullet. I always believe that 50% knowledge can be dangerous, so I better not open my mouth. But today's generation, again, I would say they're extremely lucky because literally any information, whatever you want to know, can be denied within seconds, failing to understand how it's happening. Uh, we take things for granted. Uh, when I was you know, going through a few notes on semiconductor, I, I did not know that you know, I existed in washing machines and all those kind of things. You normally don't think about it, even in cars. You don't think about all these things. It's it's a bit like you know uh, a solid foundation at home. The parents do a lot of things for you. You take those things for granted without getting too deep into those things. So it is a little bit like that. So, so to me, uh, any any woman is a back backbone of a family. And, uh, one has to speak about semiconductors and electronics, it's the same thing. Uh, I, I remember uh, when, I, when I actually looked at uh, Dr. Kapoor and you, your relationship, it obviously remind, reminded me of uh, my relationship with my coach and my younger days when uh, my coach's advice to me was the more you talk, the more you learn. The more you want to absorb, the better you will get in life. And always remember to be a student forever. And that is the only way you will continue to grow. And I can see that relationship here, uh, which is magnificent. Uh, technology can do wonders. I remember in 2002, by then I had already played for 13 years for India. And uh, laptop entered our dressing room for the first time. The first reaction was the laptop on the classic But over a period of time, laptop won our hearts because our sessions became more purposeful. The meetings that we had we planned before playing the big game became more precise, more constructive. And today, uh, if, if any team has to pick one member in the squad, the first squad would be data analysts because they like to study opposition and they like to plan. So this is the direction that the world is moving in and uh, you know, like I said, today's generation continues to surprise us and then we will never stop because this journey has uh, uh, infinite opportunities. The way our country is responding to all these opportunities is incredible. Uh, this this journey has started with some expectations. It will uh, give us reasons to smile with some wonderful experiences as well. On this journey, you know, I want to wish you the very best of luck. I know there are going to be challenging moments, there are going to be ups and downs. But together I see this uh, uh, one solid team I see good things happening in future and I want to wish you the very best of luck. Thank you once again. Thank you so much, sir. I would request you to please stay back. I think uh, uh, the, the concept uh, was obviously something which is uh, beyond somebody's imagination of coming into this uh, chip and the best way this journey has started is uh, very uniquely that you know we had two legendary legends at one time to bless this. I mean this itself is an indication that we will not fail. Uh, Dr. Kakutkar sir has been my mentor uh, all throughout and uh, uh, it was just in our journey that we met Sachin sir and uh, he showed a lot of initiative uh, in, in what uh, we are doing actually. And uh, 
uh, he was it was in a very short notice that he decided because the moment he heard about semiconductors he was more excited and what else can we expect from a nearer to god person coming and blessing us in such a short notice so i think it is a wonderful beginning and uh, uh, i simply feel that we will not fail so we have one year plan for it to go which is your what, what is the kind of uh, So technically, uh, basically, yes, uh, uh, semiconductor venture is going to be a very huge investment, and uh, but uh, we are going to start it in phases, and the phase one would be like the standard OSAT, which is outsourcing semiconductor and assembly testing. Uh, we uh, already have initiated a round of and uh, for investments, and we were very happy to know that you know uh, even with the support that. Uh, we got the main aspect was the technology so that is something which is in our control which has given us a valuation of today as we stand uh, this company has a valuation of 500 crores and there are investors investing at that value so we have got uh, good enough reserves to initiate the osat which is why apurva mentioned that by diwali we will be in a position to come closer to having set up something very real actually and uh, uh, by by 2025 June, we should have a complete OSAT facility commissioned wherein uh, a good amount of investment will go in terms of machinery and part technology because OSAT obviously cannot be deployed unless we have a technology agreement signed with the technology provider because he is giving his heart because he is giving us a wafer which is already built and we have to do an SMB testing. So uh, yes, uh, and we are doing this fast because we are going to obviously seek blessings from Maharashtra government uh, because uh, once we are uh, successful in this obviously this place is going to be very small and uh, we have been in talks with the government and uh, they are very uh, optimistic about it and uh, I think uh, very shortly we will see some good support from government where there will be a lot of subsidies which everybody is speaking about where uh, Gujarat uh, we had uh, Micron and uh, Tata ji uh, convincing the foundation stone wherein obviously they have also come in with a uh, lot of subsidies. Maharashtra government is also equally thinking that lines and I think we will have some better clear understanding with the government in the coming times but uh, notwithstanding the fact that they are always appreciating the fact we had a couple of discussions, had a presentation and it will be a, then a bigger facility, bigger investment, bigger subsidies. Uh, we will, we uh, as I rightly said, we will we are very confident that we will invest at least 5,000 crores over the next five years, which is the phase one of the project. And the phase two, we are uh, thinking about another 5,000 crores. But by the time we have completed phase one, we'll have huge investments coming in. So our 10,000 crores will be good enough to in attract another 25,000 crores of investment in the company. Any questions? Sir, 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 actually, if you look at this scheme, if Modi Ji doesn't have this scheme, then the concept of semiconductor doesn't come to India. Because the concept of the initial investment is very big. So, no one would want to take a lot of risk because there are a lot of failures in technology. If it's wrong with the design, there are a lot of failures in the fab. And the failure to withstand the failure is difficult for corporates. So when these schemes came, like my first visionary, like Tatlan Tata Ji, my very big visionary, he announced immediately that we will add that. Because the benefits of the subsidy are coming, like in the semiconductors, over an average, 50% का सब्सिडी मिल जाता है। फिर गवर्नमेंट विदिन इंटरनल इंटरस्टेट में अगर आप सेल करोगे तो आपका जीएसटी वेवर मिलता है। तो कहीं ना कहीं जाके आपको 50 टू 70 परसेंट का सब्सिडी मिल जाता है। तो ये बहुत ही बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म है हम लोगों के लिए। जो टेक्नोगेट सोच सकते हैं, वो यही यही हीरा म वो भी जो आत्मनिर्भर है, वो बस जस्ट 
मोदी जी का जो एक स्कीम एक एक, एक सोच है ना सर वो टेक्नोक्रेट्स और एमएसएमई को कहाँ से कहाँ लेके जाएगा सर सर मैं मैं शायद बहुत ऑप्टिमिस्टिक हूँ बट मैं कहता हूँ कि एक बार मैंने अब्दुल कलाम जी का एक बुक पढ़ा था कि इंडिया इज़ मूविंग टू सुपर ह्यूमन कोई आके इसको सुपर ह्यूमन करेगा ये एक कंसेप्ट थी आ, कलाम जी की और कलाम जी जब भी कुछ बोलता है ना तो भी उसका एक इंट्यूशन है वो ही इज़ ऑल्सो अ पर्सन नियर टू गॉड उसका ही सीज द फ्यूचर सब लोग सोच रहे थे कौन हो सकता है ये हु कैन ब्रिंग इट सुपर ह्यूमन एंड वी फाउंड दिस पर्सन हमारे ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर जी और सर मैं आ, शायद लोग मुझे और ऑप्टिमिस्टिक कहते हैं बट मैं ये देखता हूँ कि चार साल में गो फॉरनर्स विल कम एंड वर्क इन इंडिया दिस इज़ वॉट आई एम गोट टू सी वील सी अमेरिकन वील सी ब्रिटिशर्स दे विल बी इन इन इंडिया दे विल बी वर्किंग हेयर एंड दे विल बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द इंडियन कॉम्प्लोमरेट दिस इज़ वॉट आई एम सींग इंडिया ऑलवेज हैज़ अ वेरी गुड स्किल सेट एंड वॉट इज मोदी जी इज रियलाइज दैट मोस्ट ऑफ दैम गो अब्रॉड ऑब्वियसली फॉर वेरियस रीजन एक्चुअली बट नाउ थिंग्स आर रिवर्सिंग यू सी लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर कमिंग बैक टू इंडिया एंड इन द नेक्स्ट फोर और फाइव ईयर्स द वे आई आई कैनॉट डिस्कलोज सम ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी दैट आर कमिंग टू इंडिया Uh, uh, obviously, simply implies that the next four to five years, you see people coming into India, and India is going to be superhuman, established beyond doubt. Yes. Sir, 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 export as well as some of the parts which are itar control some of the parts which which has extreme amount of lead time we are trying to focus on that part and so we can uh, we can use that parts in uh, in india for our own product we can use it for our own defense in india yeah definitely like uh, purva was saying uh, seeing the uh, like way 19 we saw a break of covid Where we saw shortages in semiconductors. Seeing that shortage, uh, these small small companies, the big companies come together, will add on to the shortage. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.